Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. This is Chuck, KK6USY for Ham Radio Ventures. So the other day I posted a picture of a uh, 49 to 1 trans, um, transformer on my channel. And what I'm trying to do is take two T50s and see if I can get 20 watts out of it for people that have like the G90s. I don't have a G90, but I do have other, uh, you know, QRP type radios. So let's take this thing out today and here's a picture of it. Let me see. All wound up. Now this has 22 has 22 gauge wire on it, um, two T50s, and let's just see if this thing will take 20 watts. Oh, by the way, I want to thank all my subscribers. I just hit 3,000 uh, subscribers this week, and uh, I couldn't I couldn't do all this without you guys. I uh, really appreciate all your subscribers, all your comments, and stuff like that. And it uh, if I didn't have uh, people subscribing, I wouldn't be doing videos. So thank you for the subs. I, I really appreciate it. Let's get on with this. Okay, let's just see what we got here. Uh, hopefully you guys can see the screen. Pretty bright even though the sun's not out today. Let's see where we're at. Let's just start at uh, 07250. Okay, SWR. Wow, not very good. Let's do a scan of it. Yeah, I'm really long. I didn't, I just cut this wire at 64 feet and on 40, it's, it's way long. It's like 6'4", 6 6.47, 6 6.5, 1.17 there. So I'm too long. I'm going to have to shorten this thing probably. Let's just check the other bands out. meter yeah 4.3 again I bet it's long also I didn't this is the first time I've used this particular wire for an infed half wave and I don't know the velocity factor on it is probably higher than the last stuff I used the uh, 20 26 gauge this is 22 gauge let me uh, let me pull it down and unfortunately I did a really nice end on it but I can redo that anyhow it doesn't really matter so let me Pull this down. We're gonna. Uh, I don't know if you guys can actually see me out here or not. Good test for the yeah, microphone. I didn't even bring any tape with me. I'm wearing a uh, wireless go to right now. I have both mics on just because I haven't changed it over to to where they both do stereo or whatever it is. I don't know. This is a good test. So let's just let's let this thing down and I'm, cl I'm probably about 20, 25 to 28 feet. It's a 32 foot pole, I think. And I'm down a couple sections. I have to tell you guys that I, uh, the pole I was going to bring out today, I left it home and I got out here and luckily I left this one in my car, my truck I should say. So we're going to do the measurement. I'm going to do basically two hands worth. This thing's pretty long. So we're going to put it there. He's always remembered to fold it, don't cut it until you're, you know where you're going to be. And this should actually work pretty decent. Once I get some tension on it, I don't know. This, this stuff doesn't have a lot of memory in it, so I think I'll, I'll probably tie just a little knot here for now. I love this wire. It's uh, silicone jacketed, and it doesn't have much memory, if any. So we'll just tie that off there. So this experiment is a, what I've done here is done two T50, I think 43s, I think they are, toroids. And I'm trying to see if I can get 20 watts out of this thing. I left a thing on my community post about this. Some guys don't, didn't think it's going to work, and it may not. Just an experiment. 
I do know that it'll do um, 10 watts with no problem, and you might get a little higher on your. Uh, see, here's the problem with these all these weeds. They're not. I guess they're not mowing the. I guess soccer's not in right now. There we go. And I did tilt this pole away a little bit, and it's kind of to the side just to get a little more strength in the way I'm putting it up. I'm, I'm not using any guy lines at all. Just a stake in the ground that I've showed you guys before. Super fast setup. So whatever two of my hands are is what I took off. I can measure that later. 14, 2, 5, oh, those are my two main bands when I go out. And it's 3.8, so I'm still way long. We'll uh, make sure that's long. Oh, yeah. And when you bend it over also, when you fold the wire over, it, you get a little bit of reactance there. And if you actually cut some of that off, it would be closer probably, but it's still still way too long. Yeah, 3.8 there. So it's they're all coming down about the same. So it looks like the toroids, everything, the winding and everything is good. I, hadn't even, I haven't tested this thing at all. So I started at 64 feet. I had bent it over about 14 inches is what the first bend was so what i did is i cut 12 inches off so I'm, the wire is 63 feet but it's 62 feet long right now okay one four two five oh oh wow still still high there let's see where we're at though still long for for 20. Looks like it's looks like we're still a little bit long maybe getting better though so I will go adjust it again all right so I've cut four feet off of this already so that's 60 feet and I'm four feet yeah I cut four feet off I'm 60 feet and I took six more inches off and I'm still long I think guys let's just look here Okay, we're in 14250. I think this one's actually pretty good. It's a little long on 40. So let's uh, cancel that. Let's go to SWR. And 1.5. So let's go to 40. Oops. K07250, which is usually where I adjust them to and we're at 2.0 we're still a little bit long um, it's it's just about one one to one in the uh, CW portion so it's usable there I, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll probably take another six inches off but for now we'll, we'll just leave it that I think for today we're gonna go ahead and, and try some stuff I, I can tune it that's why I brought the radio I brought so we'll stop there for now and then we'll we'll all cut it more when I take it down again. Okay guys, so <laughs> I've got this thing set at 20 watts. My usual guys that I talk to to get some testing done are not there. I'm using the tuner because I don't have it quite perfect for 20 yet. So let's just call a little CQ. Now this is for sideband only. I'm not I'm not doing this as a test for 20 20 uh, 20 watts on CW or digital, so let's just see. Test, test, test. So zero SWR because I'm on the tuner, and we're gonna watch and see if if the uh, if it raises any. CQ, 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 CQ40, 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 CQ40. This is Kilo Kilo Six Uniform Sierra Yankee testing, testing a new antenna, trying to get 20 watts out of a QRP antenna. This is Kilo Kilo Six Uniform Sierra Yankee. Anybody anywhere, please come back. If you can hear my signal and give me a report back, this is Kilo, Kilo 6, Uniform Sierra Yankee. Okay, it never budged there, guys. So, and that was a pretty long hold down. CQ, CQ, CQ40, CQ40, CQ40. This is Kilo, Kilo 6, Uniform Sierra Yankee. 
testing testing an antenna today that just that I just put together trying to get 20 watts out of a QRP antenna and uh, testing 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 kilo kilo six uniform Sierra Yankee please come back CQ 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 40 CQ 40 CQ 40 this is kilo kilo six uniform Sierra Yankee so I haven't seen any climb at all yet guys that's 25 watts CQ, 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 CQ20, CQ40, excuse me, CQ40, this is Kilo, Kilo 6, Uniform Sierra Yankee, just doing some testing today and looking for a contact to get a, an antenna report there. This is Kilo, Kilo 6, Uniform Sierra Yankee. CQ, 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 CQ40, 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 this is Kilo, Kilo 6, Uniform Sierra Yankee. Typical. That's 25 and it still hasn't moved. CQ, 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 CQ20, CQ40, CQ40. This is Kilo, Kilo 6, Uniform Sierra Yankee testing. Looking for a contact, anybody, anywhere. Kilo, Kilo 6 will be clear of this frequency. kk 6 usy clear. Okay guys, so far it's pretty good. I'm going to see if I can get my buddies here. They can usually hear me, they don't have much noise. Just bump this thing up to 30 watts and see what happens. Kilo, Kilo 6, Uniform Sierra Yankee. All right, we saw a little bit of 30. We saw a little bit of, uh... yeah, yeah, I'm running 30 watts here. Who's, who do I have? Big Jim, how's it going? Um, I'm practicing with a little antenna. I made a little QRP antenna. I'm seeing what I can get out of this before the infed half wave actually starts getting too high on the SWR. It's, 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 it's tickling a little bit right now, but uh, still holding out at 30 watts, over. Yeah, the antenna is about, uh, I'd say at least 25, uh, maybe 28 feet to the tip. And I'm running 30 watts into it and infed half wave I've got about 25 feet of coax and my uh, antenna is about a foot off the ground at this end here and it's still holding out pretty good. I'm, it's holding 30 watts so not too bad. How is my signal Jim? Copy that. You're you're peaking about an S S6 here, so not as strong as usual. At least on this antenna, I don't know for sure, but uh, doing pretty good. I'm going to bump this thing up another five watts, and we're just going to we're going to uh, key it until it doesn't work. Over. Yeah, I'm barely copying Andy. Also, we're not very good from antenna to antenna there. But this is uh, 35 watts, and this thing is still not running up on the SWR. So I think that's pretty good. So uh, I'm gonna go another five watts and uh, see if Andy can hear me then, over. Well, then I guess this antenna is probably not doing too bad, Jim, because I'm running 40 watts now, 40 watts, and the SWR is still holding good. I'm surprised. Uh, I know this is sideband, it's not as taxing as CW, but uh, for me to hear you that low and you actually be able to hear me, I think this antenna is doing okay, over. Yep, yep. Um, you were up to about a test one that time, but you're a full Q5. You're getting in very nicely. Uh, that's awesome. I'm just going to keep, I mean, I mean, I built this antenna. If it, if it breaks, I'll fix it. So I'm going to go up another five watts here, just a second. Now you were louder that time too, and I'm still doing, this is 45 watts, 45 watts. I'm starting to see a little bit of gain on the uh, SWR, and I think this is, uh, the, I think 40 was it. Are you portable? Chuck, are you portable? Yeah, I'm out at the park right now. I've got to let this thing cool off a second. It, that was it. No, the soccer park out uh, out in the valley there. Okay, guys. So I'm going to go over and just see how this thing feels. It obviously uh, 45 was too much for it. So so far it looks like 20 would be fine. I didn't bring any kind of a key. Oh yeah, this thing's warm now. 
So I'll bring, oh yeah, it's really hot. Don't grab a toroid that's been pushed to its limit. No burns though. Look at that. Good signal. She couldn't stop coughing and kept hitting up. We're 20 watts again. If I remember right, this is tuned better, so. And that was the other thing too, is once I get this thing dialed in a little bit closer to 1.5, it was a two to one, so not perfect tuned. I can get it closer, I know for sure. So that might actually help a little bit more too. I think it's a success so far. Is this frequency in use? KK6USY. All right, we're at 30 watts. I gotta tune this thing better, guys, but I will, I'll do that when, uh, I might check it just before I leave. CQ, 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 CQ20, CQ20, CQ20. This is Kilo Kilo 6, Uniform Sierra Yankee. CQ, CQ, CQ20, CQ20. This is Kilo, Kilo 6, Uniform Sierra Yankee. Uh, just doing some, just out in a park today. KK6 USY, not a park from the air though. So it handled 30 there, no problem. CQ, 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 CQ20, CQ20, CQ20. This is Kilo, Kilo 6, Uniform Sierra Yankee. KK6 USY standing by. The way the band is, I don't expect to get anybody. CQ, CQ, CQ20, CQ20, CQ20. This is Kilo, Kilo 6, Uniform Sierra Yankee. KK6 USY standing by. CQ, 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 CQ20, CQ20, CQ20. This is Kilo, Kilo 6, Uniform Sierra Yankee. And I do know for a fact this radio is when he says 20 watts, it's pretty much 20 watts, so. CQ, CQ, CQ20, CQ20, CQ20. This is Kilo, Kilo 6, Uniform, Sierra Yankee. KK6, USY, standing by and doing some testing here today. Anybody, anywhere, KK6, USY. CQ20, CQ20, CQ20. This is Kilo, Kilo 6, Uniform, Sierra Yankee. KK6, USY, standing by. Whiskey Alpha 7, you're light. I'm only running 30 watts here, but come back to me again. Whiskey Alpha 7. Whiskey Alpha 7, Mike Lima Delta. Mike Lima Delta, Madrid, London, Denmark. Mike Lima Delta, yeah, I got a good copy on you. About an S1 to S2 here. I'm just sitting out in a park. I'm, I just made a new antenna. I'm trying to get 20 watts out of a QRP antenna, and I'm doing 30 on it right now. And I am in Northern California, just about oh, 28 miles northeast of San Francisco. Over. All right, so I'm doing about the same thing. No coffee. I had that before I came out. What? Uh, how much power are you running? All right. Yeah, I'm just, uh, I've got a little YouTube channel and I decided to take my 10 watt infed halfway and see if I could get 20 out of it. And I'm talking on 30 right now and my SWR has not creeped up at all. I still have a little bit of tuning to do on it. Uh, if you look up my call sign, KK6USY, Ham Radio's Adventures, and I think it's a success so far and uh, no problem with the 30 watts in it right now, over. All right, thank you for the contact. Uh, the bands don't seem to be very good today, so I was, I was glad to have you come back. Your 10 watts is doing really well. Uh, I don't have much noise here, so that's a good thing. And uh, you, guys, you guys have fun in the park there, over. Let's go up. Let's try 40 here, because we're a little bit tuned a little bit better here. CQ, CQ, CQ20, CQ20, CQ20. This is Kilo, Kilo 6, Uniform Sierra Yankee, KK6 USY, standing by. I think last time 45 was the mark. Let's just go to 50 and just see what happens. If it breaks it, I'll, I'll fix it. CQ, 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 CQ20, CQ20, CQ20. This is Kilo, Kilo 6, Uniform Sierra Yankee. 
Uh, that's KK6USY out in the park today just testing an antenna. This is Kilo, Kilo 6 Uniform Sierra Yankee. Seem to handle 50 okay there. CQ, 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 CQ20, CQ20. This is Kilo, Kilo 6 Uniform Sierra Yankee. KK6USY standing by. So far, 50 is working okay. CQ, 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 CQ20, CQ20, CQ20. This is Kilo, Kilo 6, Uniform Sierra Yankee. That's KK6USY out in a park today, just getting some sunshine. Actually, I'm sitting in the shade and uh, just trying to make some contacts on a new antenna. KK6USY standing by. So far, it likes 50. I think once I get this thing tuned a little bit better, it'll be pretty good. I mean, 20 should be no problem for a, like a G90. CQ, CQ, CQ. <clears throat> CQ20, CQ20. This is Kilo, Kilo 6, Uniform Sierra Yankee. Heck. There's 55 watts. CQ20, CQ20, CQ20. This is Kilo, Kilo 6, Uniform Sierra Yankee. That's KK6USY, just in a park, not, not doing a parks on the air, don't get that confused, but just sitting in a park enjoying the sunshine here. This is Kilo Kilo 6, Uniform Sierra Yankee. All right, there's 60. This is probably gonna do it though. All right, we're at uh, 60 watts, guys. CQ, 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 CQ20, CQ20, CQ20. This is Kilo, Kilo 6 Uniform Sierra Yankee. CQ, CQ, CQ20, CQ20. This uh, Kilo, Kilo 6 Uniform Sierra Yankee. Just sat down in a park today. Not doing a parks on the air, this is just a park and just enjoying the nice day. This is Kilo, Kilo 6 Uniform Sierra Yankee. Any station, anywhere. I had an alpha. Whiskey 7, Romeo, Tango, Alpha, good signal. Uh, well, you're about S2, S3, but I have no noise. Uh, how you copy? All right, I'm just testing an antenna, and it looks like I'm gonna have to turn it down a little bit. Uh, it's an infed halfway for QRP, and I've got it at 60 watts right now, and it seems to be holding out. I'm gonna turn it down to about 50, though, over. I'm experimenting uh, with a, uh, a second toroid on a 10 watt infed halfway over. Yeah, unfortunately the band is a little up and down. I don't know what you're running for power. Um, I'm running 50 watts now on an infed halfway, and I'm in Northern California, uh, 28 miles northeast of San Francisco over. It's Kilo, Kilo 6, Uniform, Sierra, Yankee, KK6, USY. Uh, yeah, you came up the last time. The band's up and down. Um, 40, that wasn't very good here, but where are you located? Roger, I'm at Park Kilo 4576, and I'm in Oregon, um, just outside of Portland, and I'm on the Oregon Trail. Um, I'm actually right next to the Willamette River. That's awesome. It sounds like a beautiful place to be. I'm just in a park in my local town here. Uh, it's actually a soccer field that they didn't even decide to mow here recently. Just testing this antenna. I don't know if I've, I've got a little YouTube channel, uh, KK6USY Ham Radio Adventures, and I'll probably be putting this footage on. Uh, you'll probably be in the video since I could hear you and uh, you came back to me. I'm just testing. I, I made a, a 10 watt. Uh, QRP antenna that weighs like 2.3 ounces and I added a toroid to it today or a couple days ago and just testing it out and I'm running about 50 watts but it's starting to creep up on the SWR so 
I wanted 20 out of it for the people with the G90s, so I, I think it's going to do that with no problem. Over. Yeah, it's Chuck. Well, what was your name again? Uh, the handle here is Charlie. Yeah, we, we QSO'd a couple weeks ago, I believe. I was at my home QTH. Oh, that's right. That's right. I remember that. I was at home also, I think, that night. Uh, yeah, I think we had some, some strange 20 meter between us uh, north and south that day. Yeah, Roger. Yeah, it was definitely, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I check out your YouTube videos. They're very, um, very helpful, so thank you for putting those out there. Okay, well, you have good luck today. Um, I have four, 20 is going to work on this thing. 50 was pushing it, and it's probably warmed up a little on me there. Yeah, you have a good good chance, and hopefully you're in the park so you can put me down for a contact. Yeah, I'll go ahead and put you down. Uh, I'm going to actually move my van. Um, the spot just opened up to where I can set up my long wire, so I'm going to set up an inside random wire here and see how I can do too. All right, well, you have a great day, and uh, good luck with the activation. This is KK6USY. I'm going to go QRT, guys. Everybody uh, uh, have a great day, 73s, and I uh, hope you make a bunch of contacts there. That was cool. I talked to that guy a few weeks ago. We were at home, and we had some weird, really good, strong signals north to south. Because Oregon in 20 meters usually is not all that great, and neither is L.A., but every once in a while it is. Okay, I'm going to stop this here. I'm going to pull things down. I may, maybe I'll adjust this intent a little bit more. It'll catch you guys a little bit. Okay guys, so there's, uh, that is 7.250. I've taken quite a bit off. I, I, I adjusted it five or six times. I've never had that much trouble before. So let's go to um, 14, 250. Sorry for the noise. So 1.2, no, the one's but 1.27, 1.28, 1.2. Anywhere from seven to eight. It's probably the wind blowing things around. All right, let's try. Uh, okay, 1.8 there. Sorry, guys, I don't remember the bands right offhand, so. 2.3, so that's that's usable, I'm sure. Um, Two point one there, and ten meters not. I mean, you can adjust it. Actually, ten is pretty flat all the way across. Let me throw you a, a graph. Now it's a little bit higher in the band, so it's a little short there, maybe. Depending on what part of the band, it's a huge band, so that'll work. Hey, well, those are some pretty good findings. Uh, I didn't expect it to go as high as it would and hold as long as it would on the higher uh, wattage. But uh, I think for sure 20 watts, this thing will do just fine, uh, at least on sideband. Now, if, you, if, you just, if you're going to be doing uh, digital work and stuff like that, you'll have to watch your SWR. And that's, all, that's the only way I checked it. I did uh, readjust it afterwards, uh, after I did this stuff, and I got the SWR really well on both, uh, on all, all the different bands that it was good on to start with. Uh, brought everything in below 1.5 on the, on the 10, no, yeah, 10, 20, 40, and then 15, I think, was right in that 1.5, 1.8, something like that. And I'm not on 15 that often anyhow, but uh, it, so it works. So hopefully you got something out of this video. If you did, hit that like. And uh, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Hit the all button and you'll get all my new videos. This is Chuck, KK6USY for Hammer Adventures. You guys, all be safe and uh, hopefully catch you on the airway. 73 all.